Hello my friends, I'm back. I was so sick. I had, I think I had COVID. I never got tested for COVID, but my granddaughter had COVID. She got over hers within a few days and it took me close to two weeks, nearly two weeks before I could. It wasn't anything to do with my lungs. The flu, I didn't get a cold until about a week later. I think I saw through about four days later. I got um, swollen glands about a week later. It was, my, it was the, <laughs> painful. I went to bed one night really sick chills really bad chills woke up with super sweating and that's when it started that was on a tuesday so it's tuesday two weeks ago and during that week my body was so sore like all my all my joints my muscles my bones everything was so sore for a few days i've got it all written down in a list of if you want to know more um but yeah i didn't get any sniffles or coughs i didn't get any sniffles for like about a week didn't get uh, my throat was actually sore before I even got any sniffles. I got a cough, but nothing affected my lungs. It was my stomach. I was so sick. I could not, like even now, today, and it's Monday, and that's, so it's only two weeks ago, my stomach still feels very sour. But yesterday was the first time I was able to get up. Well, it's not the first time I got up. I got up other days, but first day, yesterday was the first day I got up, was able to do anything without feeling exhausted. I had been up and out a couple of times during last in the last week but it was very it was taking it out of me like I didn't have the energy but yesterday I was able to get some things listed which was very unusual because I had not been able to list anything on all that time but I did actually go to an op shop tip shop an op shop last Thursday when my husband had an appointment in Ballina I also had to go up there to pick up um some stuff from the shed and my shed as you know is an hour and a half away <laughs> So anyone who doesn't know me, I am Nelly, I live in a bus, okay, so I don't live in a house at the moment, so all my stuff I have is in two storage sheds, one an hour and a half away, one eight and a half hours away, or nine hours away, so I can't um, get to my stuff very easily because I can't fit a lot of stuff in the bus. So I live in a bus, yes, with my four grandkids. Well, two are never at home. They're always at their mate's place 40 minutes away in McLean. That's where they are. So it's been, been very peaceful. Miss 21 goes back up north every now and again, a few days a week. So I've only got the two boys. So it's very, very quiet, very peaceful till the teens come home and the war starts. But And my husband and dog, cat, the bird at this stage. So we are looking for a home, sort of, but we're allowed to stay in this area in this showground for another for a few for a, a few months if we have to but miss 15 is studying school in McLean so she'll use someone else's address and mr 17 will be getting work so whether it's here or over there I think more over there so that's where we're going to be looking for a place eventually but as the it's so cheap here and I'm still paying storage so I yeah got to be careful budget wise so it's quite cheap to stay here but we have to move now recently I did move over here from back over you can't really see but back over in that back corner over there somewhere uh, that's where we were and we've now moved over this side which you would have seen if you had looked at my video my other channel which I was going to do more with and I haven't I've been too sick and I don't know if I'll bother um, so um, so we've got to move it again because there's a big family function thing happening here on big markets and jumping slides and whatnot all over here next weekend so we've got to move our bus in the next two days up behind over the other side so it's a it's quite a bit of work because I've got to we not only have to pack everything up I've got a tent that we've got to drag up there as well because it misses away till Thursday so anyway let's get on with the fun stuff I have decided I have found myself getting quite distressed and depressed dealing with trying to sell stuff I used to do it because it was fun now I'm doing it because I've got to make money which is fun too to make money out of things you buy but it's not as much fun as it was when I was just doing it for fun <laughs> so now I'm actually trying to make an income so and also my YouTube channel I nearly quit again because I'm trying to do it by teaching you guys different stuff and I'm failing that so I thought you know what I'm going to go back to showing you what I get even if it's crappy stuff and even even if it's only for me and the kids just show you what I got let's have fun with it let's not worry about it. if you learn something off me great if you don't well that doesn't matter as long as we have fun so what I'm going to do right now I've been I went to, I went to the op shop this morning <laughs> Miss 15 came back for the night, she did her shoes, got us some, bought us some shoes, then I went to the op shop and she's gone again, she went on the bus. So I've got a heap of stuff today, I'm going to share it with you in a minute, but I'm going to share with you something that I was really excited about last week, or a couple of things I got last week. I'll show you the best stuff in a minute. But I've got this really awesome box, 
It was only three dollars. Now, where did I get it from? I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> Somewhere. I think Eggestrot was in with McLean last week. I was in McLean last week, dropping off kids, picking up kids, doing something with kids. And um, she just brought it out, put it on the table. I said, how much is it? She said, $3. So it's a beautiful timber box. And I love timber boxes. This is one I'm probably going to sell eventually. Um, or lion inside. But it had a $35 sticker. So someone's gone to a lot of work in creating that. And I was able to pick it up for $3. So I will sell that one. And the other day I was at another op shop. Where was I? I don't know. I can't remember where I got this one from. Maybe the tip shop? I think it was a tip shop actually. Went to the tip shop the other day and got this lovely carved barley style. Can't see the price. Someone's rubbed the price off. Made in India, tree of life. So wouldn't a minute wouldn't have been cheap. Probably about forty dollars or something like that. Had a bit of junk jewelry, like junky stuff, which I'm going to get rid of. But inside was a pair of sterling silver earrings. So that came with it. So I bought. Um, what did I get there the other day? Fifteen dollars I spent, and I got a, a nice little array of stuff. So this probably only cost me maybe two dollars all up. And I got some. I got a couple of um, skirts that were the brand of, which are their Princess Highway brand in the in a box too. So that that alone, the skirts alone, I'll pay for everything that day. There was one thing I left behind. This picture up here that I wish I had got. I thought was really cool. I just wasn't thinking. I think I was. I was in a hurry. It was pouring rain. I was just drifting around. I was waiting for my husband to call me. I was late for to pick him up for his appointment. But there was that. This is the one thing I got, which is a, it's just a useless box, which you click it and it opens and it shuts itself. I wish I had got that. But anyway, we always leave stuff behind and regret it. And we always buy stuff that we wish we hadn't got. So it's the way it is. But anyway, on that particular day when I was at the tip shop, I had gone up to Austinville, where my favourite op shop is, where the lady keeps jewellery for me. And all the years who have followed me for a while would know that I always pick up these 50 cent bags of jewellery. Right, so I grabbed it. Thank you very much. It's got more for me coming up soon. Um, honestly was just junky stuff in there basically junk and I could sell like if enough if I wanted to sell some of the pieces for a dollar each and I still make money I don't know why she has it so cheap but I'm not going to complain but on the way home while the old man was driving I was going through the junk jewelry bag and going oh yeah dollar here dollar there and then I came across well this is what I wasn't what I came sadly there's only one unless there's one in the box and I missed it, it was a sterling silver little sterling silver uh, pearl earring so that was good that was nice but I'm going to show you my favorite in a second I it's really unusual and very rare where you actually find the pairs of anything in a lot of these jewelry piles like most of the time when I find it I'll find a, a gold nine carat gold earring that's it just one um, but this particular day I was able to find that single sterling silver but also I don't know where are we here we are um, these gorgeous nine karat gold per, uh, pearl earrings screw in so they're older style well this is in the 50 cents box guys but this is my piece to resistance i was just like i pulled out one this is the very first thing i pulled out um when i was going through everything that got me excited now i pulled this out look at that i don't know if you can see it very well see that it's a very old screw in two of them two guys two nine carat gold i don't know what the stone is at this stage it could be a piece of glass i don't know but it, yeah it's you can see quite well through it so i've got to get these tested but these were in the 50 cent pile i mean i was just just absolutely wrapped with those alone and then the other pearl ones came along as well so scored yes i did i did score so i was very very happy with those and i'm sorry mel you're gonna see it and you're gonna get jealous again <laughs> I know you will so that was that was last week and as I said I have been very exhausted even the other day it was the day after I went up to Bell and I wasn't feeling great but the kids wanted me to go and get them so I, I forget what happened that day well anyway I was there and I went to one op shop and I was just so exhausted that's where I got the other box I felt so drained and I knew I had to come home and just relax so like I said yesterday was the first day I actually got up and was able to do stuff I'm still a bit tired today but I, I was able to get out and do something fun for me. And that fun stuff entailed two op shops. No, I went to three op shops, sorry. I went to three op shops this morning, this afternoon. Uh, the first one was Salvo's where I picked up a... Now, this is nothing exciting, no, nothing to write home about. But my granddaughter who loves makeup, I'm going to put a heap of makeup in that for her 
and maybe give it to an owl or you know just just uh yeah it's a lovely lovely box and inside it i ended up buying all these why i buy glassware i don't know i really don't but these are really lovely i think they're sort of they glass like as in dessert glassware look at those and i've got one two three one two three four five six six of them they're only 50 cents each and they're beautiful and they're all different every one of them is a different color so that's the blue one i don't know what the other colors are one two three four six so yeah they're all like there's a green one here so i've got all the range of colors in it and i just thought they were too lovely to leave behind for, for 50 cents will i use them probably not will i sell them most likely but i just thought they were lovely so i grabbed those because you can't see and the box came in handy popping it in there okay so i was really upset to i'll go back to the tip shop again i picked up grug everyone who knows grug my kids love grug little little set 10 set 10 book set which i've got a list yet um the books the, the pouring rain and the rain was coming in above where the kids books were sitting <laughs> i said oh they got a leak up there she's oh yes we know we've just tidied up this area we'll do that next and i'm like me being the book lover would have gone oh god no i'll go grab some boxes and we'll put them all in there and i thought i would help them but no she was not worried about the boxes so i, I saved grug <laughs> so i was just so devastated to see all these books getting dripped upon but anyway that's the way it goes so that was that that was the tip that was salvo's tip shop sorted and then i've got to stop this because i've got nowhere to put it all <sighs> anyway uh, okay so i went to, and salvo's salvo's had these books they had these books called well they're by they're the core knowledge book series now these ones i'll sell what your first grader needs to know okay but i didn't get one i got the second grade and the third and fourth grade and the fifth and sixth grade books and they were a dollar each oh and oh yeah third i don't know six yes yeah, six up to fifth and six so i got all the whole set of them for a dollar each which i thought was really good because they do sell quite well so i'll probably get about hopefully about fifty dollars for those 49 i mean you know i'll hopefully i'll profit around thirty dollars once ebay takes their fees so beautiful set of books for a dollar each yes please i nearly didn't but then i did some research i thought yeah i will and while i was there they had these books which were also a dollar each which i'd never heard of this author before but the the, the front pictures sort of got me oh, i'll have a quick look and they sell really well like i think it's 24 dollars and then free post from overseas so i thought if i whack them together you know i might be able to get 30 dollars for them off ebay or 40 and you know get a bit of a profit happening there so i think it's like a mystery like mystery i don't know anyway i thought i'd grab those as well because they looked really good so i left it i've got them and i got elmer's i don't know these are two dollars each i think that was yeah they did too i didn't see two dollars each but my granddaughter bought a heap of these the other day so i think they sell for a bit more um at spotlight so i got two of those because they're always doing a little bit of history her and the boys are doing a bit of crafting so yeah i was a bit disappointed i didn't see the two dollars each but again like i said i'll have a look to see how much sell um spotlight sells them for and that was a bit mean but anyway i also got this um this is to sell now i don't know if i'll do well with it or not and i don't know if i did the right thing or not but it's made in australia it's 2004 made in australia nrl team supporter um when it's made in australia i like to grab them so it only cost me four dollars so i'm thinking maybe about thirty dollars i'll list it maybe even a little bit more on ebay we'll see so that was that was salvos so that was pretty cool i was pretty happy with all that stuff that cost me 23 dollars i think 23 dollars all up so in a minute i will work out and i'll pop it up here um individualize it <laughs> work it out how much it all costs so that was that then i went to one i haven't been to in ages because i just haven't and i got oh, muscles i got these now they had bag of books they had a trolley of books for five dollars which the books weren't that great and uh, but what i did i ended up grabbing all of this style of book the rachel treasure you know that 
the Australian Australiana sort of style romance books. I've got a whole heap of those. One, two, three, four, five. Five of that sort of style now. If you could watch Mel on Back to Burnout, um, she always recommends if you don't have the same, like even if you're not the same author, it's the same genre, genre um, grab them because they will sell. So I got this whole bag of books for five dollars, even a school book for the kids. And I also got a Jamie Oliver cookbook in that lot as well. So my phone was flat, so I couldn't check, but I grabbed him anyway. And I also got the always keep an eye out for these um, Paul Jennings books. They always sell. The last lot I had sold. Sadly, with this lot number five was missing I went through the whole like I, I got everything out of this trolley and piled it all up so I could find number five which I couldn't find so I'll have to keep an eye out for number five an eye out for number five because last time I, I sold these a set of these not long back so I keep an eye out for Paul Jennings books they seem to sell quite well so that was that that was that lot and in that lot I also saw I also bought this which was sitting at the front of the shop when i got there it was two dollars <laughs> it's like what the hell is it and because i'm into this jewelry thing at the moment which i've got a heap of it i've got to share with you guys that's for sale i just thought it was very funky and my sister would think it's pretty cool so you put your bangles and bracelets in there and your earrings and rings in there i thought it was really funky for two dollars so I'll grab that <sighs> right and then i went to the last one which I wasn't going to go to I actually called my husband I said I'm coming home do you need anything he said no and I thought oh, you know what damn it I'm going to go to one more because otherwise I've got to go home and sit with kids and they're just lying around doing their own thing <laughs> so I went to one more which is Hope Hope is on the south side it's actually probably one of my forget to be one of my favorites now because I always nearly always walk in there and walk out with something and today was no exception today was a really good day because as I was going in there he was taking a whole heap of toys and stuff two other ladies raced down there just before me so they got a few things that I would have probably grabbed but I'm very happy with what I got which I'll show you in a minute but in that section they had the um which I got these for my granddaughter the eldest granddaughter she likes crafting um this one here was exactly what I was looking at I actually carried it around with me in salvos I had five dollars on it and I put it back I'm glad I did because this is here at the next stop shop for basically a dollar each if that now they have been used very very lightly but you know gives her some extra crafty stuff to do so i was happy i left the other one behind at the other op shop because i got it way cheaper at that one <sighs> here we go okay so i went up to the as soon as the toys i saw the toys going in i went up to the toy section and they had all these lego and there's a story with this damn box too oh in the sealed still sealed that was that one now that's got a story. That box is a story. I think it was either that one or that one. I think it was that one. One of these two has a story. And again, they haven't been opened. So some little child just got these and goes, well, I don't want them. So I'm going to chuck them to the op shop. And some Nelly can go buy them and sell them and make some money. So that's what she did. This box, one of these two boxes. I lost my husband's car keys in the shop like because i couldn't find mine this morning which i just found in the car but these are my husband's right they're not easy to lose i stuck them in my bra now usually with my keys i have my jeans on i stick them in my jean pocket from now on i'm going to take a bag with me to put my stuff in i couldn't find them anywhere now i've gone to pay and my and my phone was in the car flat this is murphy's law my phone was in the car flat i didn't have enough money on my car when i went to pay so i had to get to the car and i couldn't get to the car because my keys were somewhere in the shop and i could not find my damn keys and i'm panicking because my husband's keys and i couldn't call him because i don't know his phone number because he's in my phone in the car and the car is locked and da, da 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 and um it was flat so anyway eventually after going back to the car and looking around the shop again then that then the sort of, the workers are sort of helping kind of I thought, and she'd gone through all the boxes to have a look at one box. What are these two culprits here? What happened? I must have popped something. I must have picked up a piece of Lego and popped it in there and dropped my keys in there at the same time. So, yeah, my keys were in here after all that stress. So, I better make some money out of these. So, they, they were in there, and um, yeah, I was able to get to my car, get my other car, and pay for everything. And everything in this op shop, the rock painting stuff, the, all the Lego, it's another one over here as well. 
another Lego. And once again, this Lego, not all of it, oops, some of it is still sealed. Some of it's been used, but all the pieces I think are in there. And if they're not, it doesn't matter. Somewhere down there. Um, so yeah, all this Lego, someone's just tossed it out. And it looks like it's not very old. Um, I picked all that up. Plus this bag of Lego pieces. You can see that in there. <laughs> Look, I don't do Lego. Look, look at this. This is just... Uh, yeah, so all these Lego pieces I've picked up. Speed, it belongs in that one, I presume. don't know. But anyway, I picked all this up. So how much do I pay? This is not even finished yet. That's all my Lego. And while I was at the, at the front waiting... I saw this in a box, like stuffed in a box underneath another box. I don't know if it's worth anything. But it's Penzoil Racing, Penzoil Racing, and it's vintage, and it's got extra large. It's got someone's number, I don't know, F O N F O nine five two one. Um, it looks like it's an older style. Well, it's made in Australia, so it is old. So I don't know how old it is, but I thought, well, for all the money I paid for all this stuff I'm going to grab that too and I got a pair of jeans which I might try on I had a really nice pair of jeans there but someone had shortened them so I left them so I'm going to try these ones on I don't really funky ones with the holes in it you know and I'm getting to the fun stuff well I think it's fun I got my, my granddaughter a disco ball I she might hang it in the bus or go with my disco mirror um yeah I'm gonna hang it in the bus somewhere my husband, he just shakes his head when I bring stuff home. But they had plush. I got plush, guys. I got some plush, and I'll show you all my plush in a second. I got Taz Plus Plus Plush Space Jam one. I got what's his name off? Is it Family Guy? I think it's Family Guy. South Park. There you go. That's all I know. I think they're both South Park. So both of those. Look like they're like they're new. And I got um Crash Bandy Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog, which will go with my other bits and pieces of Sonic that I've got upstairs. So he's still got his tag on. So I got him. I've got a bag of balls. If you guys know what kids are like with balls. I ended up I wasn't going to and I ended up grabbing the whole lot. Like there's all sorts of different balls there. Like if you go to Kmart or somewhere like that, if you're paying a dollar each. For this sort of style ball right that feels really hard anyway so i've got a bag of balls for the boys i haven't even seen them yet but yeah bouncy balls because i always lose them and lastly which isn't very exciting but i'll show you anyway i feel like there's something else down there good lord i'm running out of space i think there's another bag of yeah, there's another bag of bits of lego lego pieces that i saw that was separate um, so I just grabbed the whole bag. Oh, what's in here? I imagine there was jewellery in those. Someone didn't know. Oh, too. Okay, so that's what I got. And I got these books, which I'd never heard of before. And I got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books by Christine Fian, which I'd never heard of. And I didn't have my phone to check. And I went by my gut feeling. And I'm glad I did because apparently it's quite popular. She's quite a popular author. And I've got a whole bundle of them uh, to put together. So sometimes just go with your gut if you haven't got your phone handy, which I did. So I'll probably get about $30, $30 for those. Now, I'll add up all that and divide it by the $20 that I spent on my work it out. I'll put it up here for you because I'm not doing that right now. So that means this box, that box, that box, and all those. So I'll divide it all up and I'll work out how much each item is. So I'll let you know. That's it, guys. I am not going off shopping tomorrow. I'm not. So I've got to get all this listed today, or well, as much as I can get listed today. Plus, I've got a box of DVDs sitting at the step. I did half of them yesterday. I've got a bag of stuff on my bed, which I've got to do, which is clothing. I'm going to try and get it all done so that when I go back up to Ballina, I can grab some more stuff to bring back and list so that I do have... No, hardly any dead stock sitting there. 
I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for hanging around. I hope you aren't getting sick. I hope you stay well. And if you do get sick, just rest. That's all you can do is just rest. Take care, everybody. I will see you next time. I'll oh, definitely on Wednesday when I show you all the stuff I've recently sold. Which you've missed out in the last few weeks. So I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.